All right, G body guys, here's something you can probably appreciate if you're an Oldsmobile guy. The front license plate frame on the 442s, Hurstoles, Cutlasses, they get the crap beat out of them from hitting things. You can see the one off my Hurst that's beat to shit. This thing's actually crushed like an accordion in the back. This is where it bolts on with the bumper. There's the hole. There it is. This side's all broken out. So I bought a better quality license plate bracket off of eBay. This one's really nice. It's got one chip right here, which I can fix with epoxy pretty quickly. But uh, I didn't realize when I bought it, maybe the guy advertised it this way and I didn't realize it, but the holes for the bolts were broken out. There's no back to them. Even this piece of shit one has a little bit of a uh, the bolt hole cup. It's still intact, even though it's all crushed. <laughs> so, what do you do, right? They make reproductions now, but I don't feel like spending a hundred bucks on license plate frame. Especially where I have this nice one that you know, just needs a little bit of love. So, what I did was, I bought a stick of plastic rod from McMaster Car. It was like 12 bucks, I think. It's a one and a quarter inch OD. And uh, these are one inch OD. So when you're done, you have about an eighth inch wall all around it. And I made a cap. A pair of caps. These guys. Uh, the, only, the only problem, I guess I can call it, is on the caps I made, I made the, uh, Christ, I can't focus for shit today. I made the uh, thickness 220, 0.220 in the hole. I don't know if you can see it or not, you probably can. It's 220 thick, way thicker than stock. Stock's probably less than 100,000, that's why they break so easy. So if you're gonna make this 220 thick, you need to cut these stems down. I call them stems, whatever you wanna call them. These gizmos right here. You know, they originally were that tall. You don't cut them down when you uh, bolt this back up to the car it's going to stick out too far past the bumper so you just chop a little bit off and you actually looking at this one you can see where the original the original end cap part was cast in you know embossed in whatever and that's what broke out so i made these caps and i chopped these things down so they fit flush now we'll go all the way in like that Epoxy these guys on, and it'll be like new, and you'll never break this thing. And while I'm epoxying, I'll fix this little chip here too, which I can't seem to focus on because my camera's being a bitch today. There we go. Yeah, just a small little chip. I'll just epoxy that up, and we'll live happily ever after. So let me get to gluing and get a buzz on from it, and uh, we'll see how I do when it dries. Okay, my license plate bracket is all fixed. I uh, glued those cups on. I had to do it twice because for some reason my JB weld wasn't setting. It must be too old. So I had to use Gorilla Glue, which I didn't want to use because it expands and makes a mess. But uh, you know, I scraped all the excess away and that shit is durable. I don't think it's ever going to come off. So they're on. They look a little messy, but who's going to see the back side besides me? Uh, and that chip on the side, I filled in with epoxy. Um, I sand it down a little bit. I mean, I could really go crazy and wet sand this thing or you know, paint it, or whatever. It's not that critical to me. I mean, it's a license plate bracket. No one's going to get that close. I mean, you're going to get probably that close. And you can't even see it from there. So, it's fixed. It'll do the trick. So, let me throw this guy on and call it done.